as we head out of Santa Fe, we have questions. Who decides the quality of our lives? Who survives? Who thrives? As researchers and writers, we need to know what's really happening out there. We're on a mission in this era of uncertainty and have set out to discover how people fix a society that's failing so many. We're in a race to meet amazing local problem solvers who don't take no for an answer. Join us on a road trip to meet the champions of New Mexico. We're arriving in Socorro in Socorro County, New Mexico. We're two hours from the state capital and a few hours drive from Mexico. We are eager to learn. We've been asked to speak at the 100% Socorro Summit. This is a meeting of county stakeholders where we talk about access to the 10 vital services for surviving and thriving. My name is Sharon Sessions. I am the Director of Outreach here at New Mexico Tech. I'm also part of the leadership team of 100% Socorro. This summit today is about working on challenges that have affected our state for generations. It's easy to be discouraged. It's easy to feel like New Mexico, our home, is locked in a cycle of childhood trauma, a cycle that is very hard to break out of and repeats generation after generation. We are tackling this mission, these challenges today, by building foundations and establishing basic and sustainable pathways that focus on safety and success for all of our community members. And we need to recognize that when you focus on building the networks of support for our most vulnerable families, that we are building safety and structures that benefit us all. So today, we are here with the goal of ensuring that 100% of the people that live in Socorro County have access to the services and are empowered to actually seek out those services, not only to survive, but to thrive. We saw a real chance that if we come together as communities and do things really differently, we can make a huge difference in the lives of these children and families. And so we wrote a book called Anna Age 8. It's almost the five year anniversary of Anna Age 8. And when that book came out, heroes started to emerge. In Anna Age 8, we basically said, you know, if there were 10 services that every family could access, that would really help a lot of these problems. So, you know, communities, you should probably figure out how to do that. If 100% of families have access to 10 vital services when they need them, that will be a game changer for the state. How do we think big? How do we think what's never been done before? We are looking at the social determinants of health. What determines the health, safety, and the future of our children? The environment you live in determines your health. The environment you live in, including the key services for surviving and thriving, the quality of the air, the quality of the soil, your justice system, but mostly if families have access to these services from the get-go, 
they do better. We are thrilled to be meeting one of our favorite co-workers, Matt Probst, who is heading up the 100% movement in San Miguel County, who is also an expert in rural health. It's about neighbors helping neighbors. No one else is coming to rescue us. New Mexico is a big piece of land with not a lot of people. And we are all connected. We are all connected. And so it's that, those relationships, that interconnectedness. As we look at the challenges and the opportunities, the challenges of this big landmass have always been here. <laughs> that has remained constant. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not about talk. It's about action, doing, ing ing. Talking is important, but it's about doing and communicating and relationshiping that it's in each one of you it's in each one of you that challenge and that opportunity I want to talk about the vision of hundred percent Socorro what does Socorro look like if we visualize our our ideal Socorro in three to five years what does that even look like so we're coming together and bringing all of you with us to make 100% Socorro happen. We've been told we absolutely have to attend the high school football game. Off we go in the freezing cold to see how it all plays out. Our vision is to be the educational capital of the Southwest. That is our vision. We're really excited to have you guys here. We've got the city, we've got the county, we've got New Mexico Tech. None of them have ever told us no on anything we've asked for. So it's been fantastic. Uh, everybody's on the same page, everybody's working together, and we all have a common goal. We are meeting with community champions, JC and Sharon, at a local restaurant to talk about the 100% movement. I think we really have to start to showcase the positives. Look at what we've done, look at what we've achieved. And so if we're celebrating those successes and we're bringing them in, but then we're actually being able to incorporate um, you know some of those some of those same strategies sure. you know positive reinforcement as opposed to the negative reinforcement and so i think about all these people that are engaged day in and day out always trying to make something better then you can say okay well this is too hard this is too much work but then you can say okay one it's important so you remember why it's important but two you have all the positive things that are coming out the summit was really an amazing space because it gave them an opportunity to make the connections and to be able to see that there's good things that are happening. It's been an incredible adventure here in Socorro County with Sharon and all her colleagues. We're now packing up and on our way back to Santa Fe.